Hello, good evening. Hi, happy Monday. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. Welcome to Actors Daily Bread. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and life and career coach for actors. And you are watching episode one, where's my paper? <laughs> episode 100. Ah! Yes, I'm so excited. Episode, don't laugh at my drawing. You know, I'm not, um, uh, drawing is not my, my strongest suit. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you are tuning in, let me know where you are watching from. Say hi, put hello in the comments. Let me know that you can hear me. All the usual good stuff. But yes, episode 100, y'all. I'm so excited and grateful. And if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, this is life coaching tips, acting tips, audition tips from me and my experience in 20 plus years working here in Hollywood. Hey, Tanika, uh, what's up? Thank you for tuning in, Tanika. And, you know, speaking of Tanika and um, many of my, my favorites here, let me put that back on the screen because I'm having a little celebration over here. Um, I want to give a huge shout out. You know, I started Actors Daily Bread. I have it on my thing, March 21st of this year. And I want to give a huge shout out, not just to my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. But I want to just give a shout out to some of my watchers who have been watching me and watching Actors Daily Bread and getting fed from all the tips. I want to shout out Vernika, Tanika, Heaven, Arisha, Stephanie, Marilli, Latoya, Melody, Holly, Holly, Elisa, David, Dawn, Cornelius, Van Zell, Tarnisha, Tony, David, Inestin, Chaz. That's just a few. Valerie Payton, Shandra Corelli, like uh, I just want to give a huge shout out and send y'all some love back for sending me the love and encouragement because you know when I, I'm at this is episode 100 that's why I'm extra hype I'm gonna just keep holding up my bad drawing <laughs> I'm a good actress and a singer I didn't say anything about the drawing but I just you know I started this um, this in Mar on March 21st of this year and not knowing what I was going to say or share every day. I just knew that I wanted to give back. I knew that I had a lot of information to share and that I needed to reach more people other than just my private coaching clients. And I knew people just need this. People just people just need this. Hey, Tanika, Tinka says love you. I love you back. Thank you so much. Um, so, but today, in, in honor of the 100th episode of this, because, and I got to give a shout out to my husband, Garland, who puts up with me doing these videos all the time. <laughs> and he actually helped me come up with the name for Actors Daily Bread. I've told him what I wanted to do, and um, he helped me create that name. So shout out to him, um, who's keeping the dog quiet right now. But, I, you know, I had to make sure I shouted out you loyal watchers and who have been sharing the video and and please hit the share button give me some likes give me some hearts um i'm not on my the typical facebook platform those of you on youtube because i put these videos on youtube after i finish for those of you whose names i don't know i appreciate you i i am grateful that you watch but today i want to talk about something that's really huge and then i have a big announcement it's big to me so i'm gonna share it but you know i want to talk about uh self-promotion right because that is a big, big thing, and that's been on my heart, and it's been something that I've talked to a lot of you about on Facebook, privately, private conversations, and a lot of actors, and not just actors, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, actors, just people, we hate, a lot of us hate promoting ourselves. You know why we, we call it, let me take this belt off, y'all, I have this belt on, and I don't know why, y'all can't see it, Let's take it off. I'm like, why am I, why am I all constricted? <laughs> I don't have to be. You know, but a lot of us talk about, we talk about shameless self-promotion and, you know, humble brag and all this stuff. And I really was doing, I really did a lot of work on this over the over this past weekend and had some really huge ahas and some serious moments, you know, in meditation and dealing with this because I know it's something that a lot of you deal with. Give me a comment, right? Yes, that's me in the comment box below. If you have ever suffered with being scared to self-promote, I'll tell you the big issues that come up for a lot of us, or at least for me and some of the people I've talked to. People hate self-promoting because, you know, maybe you're in a new play or a new movie, TV show or something, 
And, you know, people say, well, I invite people and they don't show up or I could have to make some notes or you're posting online, you're posting on Facebook and only three people hit the like button. Right. <laughs> Tanika said, not me. Tanika, I know not you. Tanika is a, you're a, you're a hustler. You're like my mother, actually. Shout out to my mom, Valerie Horn, who is not afraid to promote anything. But there are plenty of us out here out there who deal with this, who are hiding. And if that is you, I want you to just hang on tight for this episode. Um, this is episode 100, so I'm, I'm geeked. Um, Alyssa says she can't stand it. Tell me why. Right? Give me one, one reason in the comments why you can't stand promoting yourself. And some other reasons that I've heard are you post online, you share, you know, and, and no likes. It's like you have no support. It's like what happens to the friends and family who said, oh, please let me know the next time you're in something. I want to be there. And then it's crickets. They don't show up. Right. You're like, what the hell? You said to tell you and I'm telling you. Right. Or you feel like you're having to fight through the social media noise because there's so much noise out there. And you're like, well, everybody else is promoting. I don't want to be promoting. Or here's the big one that I have dealt with. Right. I have dealt with this many times. You feeling braggadocious. Like if I let you all know all the fabulous things that I've done, you're going to be like, she's bragging. Or, you know, someone said, Sometimes you feel like you have to beg and shout and scream to get support from your own family, from your own friends, from your own colleagues. If you can relate, just hit yes, that's me. Or just put self-promotion, put something in the comments. Let me know that you hear me. Let me know that you feel me, you know? And let me, let's keep it real. Can we have some real, some real talk for episode 100 of Actors Daily Red, right? And the thing is, as human beings, as actors, as human beings, we want to be accepted. We want to be loved. We want to be supported. We want to be encouraged. And as artists, not just actors, artists, so many people struggle with this. When I've been building my business for years, that was always a thing. You scared to hit the post, scared to tell, scared to tell people about this thing you're doing. I hope I don't want people to um, not like me. Alyssa says sh shyness, I guess. Well, there's some of that, absolutely. Right. We want we don't want to to offend anyone. I want people to like me. People may think this about me. The biggest thing that's holding you back and has held me back is fear of judgment from other people. Now, let me tell you something. Let's get real clear. You are being judged right now from the comfort of your own home, whether you're watching this video at a restaurant or in your bedroom or in the bathroom. You're being judged right now. Someone got you on their mind. They don't like you. Someone's watching me right now. Do you know how many people watch my shows, watch me every day here and can't stand me? Don't like me at all, but they tune in. They're tuning in. So there's something that's drawing them to them, drawing them to me, but they just can't stop looking at me. I mean, who, who would want to stop? <laughs> but I had to come to a place and, and let me, I'm, I'm laughing and making light of this because this is a serious subject. It's holding you back. You are being judged no matter what you do. You are being judged no matter what you do. So why not be the most freaking amazing Thing smoking like because you're gonna get judged regardless so that's a big one and I know that holds a lot of his back Alyssa just says she's her own worst critic a lot of us are that that a voice in here gets really loud it starts to tell you it starts to tell you you're not good enough you're not worthy who's gonna care why even bother do you know how many other actors there are out there do you know how many entrepreneurs doing the same thing that you're doing who's gonna care about what you're doing hey Tarnisha Tarnisha small in the building one of my oh, Tarnisha I shouted you out earlier I don't know if you heard Tar Tarnisha is one of my loyal watchers uh, clients all that so I want to talk about this I'm gonna give you three tips today I know I'm kind of going off but you know it is episode 100 <laughs> so let's get down to the nitty-gritty right let's get down to it listen I can speak from experience that sometimes the people closest to you will be the last people to support you I'm going to say that again. Sometimes the people closest to you, the people who you thought would have your back, who said, call me when you have the next show. Tell me when you have another fundraiser. Oh, you got a Kickstarter? Cool. I'm going to support you. 
sometimes they are the last people to jump on board. And that hurts. But let me tell you something. Marketing is part of what we need to do. It's part of our business. It's like we all know McDonald's exists. McDonald's been around forever. We know they got the Big Mac, the hamburger, the fries. But guess what? McDonald's don't stop promoting them damn hamburgers <laughs> to us, right? They don't stop. Can you imagine if Beyonce, she recorded the Lemonade album, she put her heart and soul into that Lemonade album, and then she was like, this is a good album. People are just going to know it's good because it's me. It's good. But I'm not going to tell anybody about it. I'm just going to, I'm going to upload it to my website and wait. I'm not going to tell anybody about it. They're going to find it, clearly, because people are looking for good music. They're going to find it. I'm just going to wait. Why isn't anybody buying my album? Because you didn't tell anybody. So you, whether you're an actor, a singer, a drummer, an artist, an entrepreneur, it is our responsibility to let people know we exist. You playing small does not serve anyone. If someone doesn't like the fact that you're posting pictures of yourself or posting about your bookings or that you had a fierce audition or that you're getting married or you're happy, that you're happy, then they can unfriend you. Look, Facebook has this great feature that you can unfollow somebody. They have this, Facebook has this awesome feature where you don't even have to unfriend someone. You can just stop following them if what they're putting out bothers you so much, right? So I wanna encourage you today because look, I had an epiphany over the weekend and I'm sharing it with you, which is part of my big announcement. I am turning the flame all the way up. And if you want to rock with me, I encourage you to rock, rock with me. Excuse me, let me get some water. If you're not a part of the Hollywood Bound Facebook group that I run and that I have has an awesome community, a lot of the members are right here in the thread right now. If you're part of the group, just type join. They should join us, right? We have an awesome community and I'm, I'm teaching. I teach marketing skills and tactics and how to book more work. So if you're sitting at home like, why am I not booking? Why am I not? getting what I want, but you get, you're afraid to tell people you exist, that's part of the problem. Let me take a sip. So I have three tips for you today. The link to join the um, um, Hollywood Bound group is above. So my three tips for getting over the hating self-promotion. One, people have to know you exist, right? So the first step, tip number one, is to be your biggest cheerleader. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. A friend of mine on Facebook, she asked, um, she asked the question in her thread one day. She was like, why is it that people like their own comments? <laughs> Sometimes I see people like their own comments or photos oops, or videos. And I chimed in and I said, well, I'm going to be my biggest cheerleader. I'm going to start the party. I'm going to start the like party. Stephanie Green in the house. What's up, Stephanie? Another loyal watcher. I shouted you out, Stephanie. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to like my stuff first. Please give me some hearts. Give me some likes. I'm not on Facebook right now. I'm actually on another platform streaming, so I can't see if you're giving me hearts and likes. So please give me some hearts, some likes. Share this. If you have ever dealt with hating to promote yourself, if you've ever felt insecure, if you felt like I'm, I'm being too braggadocious, this you need to keep watching. I'm going to rock with you for a few more minutes. So tip number one is be your biggest cheerleader. You have to tell I need to know that I need to be watching you. Me showing up every day is trying to tell you guys, hey, look at me, watch me. I've learned X, Y, and Z. You can learn from me if you want to, right? So you got to be your biggest cheerleader. That's tip number one. That's tip number one. Tip number two, let me get to it. I just want to type this here. I'm not going to stop typing this because I'm so excited that it's episode one, honey. <laughs> tip number two is to truly appreciate the people who do show up for you, right? I have a thing in my book. I have, for those of you who don't know, I have a book. It's called 90 Days to Diva. I released it a couple years ago. It's a motivational book for 90 days. And one of the things I say is focus on your 999 fans. And what I mean by that is let's say you have an, an event, a show, something, a thousand people are in the audience, right? 999 people jump to their feet at the end. They applaud you. Oh my gosh, you're wonderful. But there's that one person in the front row that's like, 
it was all right. I mean, what do you think our human nature is to do? Our human nature is not to focus on the 999 people who are jumping for joy about our great job. Our human nature is to focus on that one person who didn't like us. Because like I said earlier, we are humans, we are artists, we are sensitive, we are so emotional, we're fragile, our egos are fragile. We want acceptance, we wanna feel love. So we want that person to like us. So I want you to shift that paradigm and really start to appreciate and love back and give back to the people who are supporting you, the people who do show up. So I don't care if you put it on Facebook and you invited 50 people, right? But if 10 show up and they keep showing up, like some of you here, Tanika, Tarnisha, Stephanie, Arisha, like Alyssa, y'all show up. So I'm gonna shout you out and love love on y'all because you support me. And in turn, I support you and we just have a thing, right? So who are the people in your life that are supporting you? That no matter what you do, they hit the share button. No matter what you do, they show up. Forget the rest, because let me tell you something. Like I said before, the people closest to you will be the last ones to jump on board sometimes. Like some people, you know, my family, they know, oh, she's an actor. They just are so used to you. They're even used to me being on TV. Like, hey, I'm on two networks on the same day. Oh, okay, just, you know, just, okay, just text me. You're like, I'm on on CBS and NBC tonight at nine and 10, okay. Whereas (laughs) Whereas <laughs> Stephanie says, yes, we'll continue to because you're the bomb. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. You're the bomb.com too. But you see what I mean? Sometimes they're going to be the last ones and trust and believe your family, your friends, the people who are just so used to you and take you for granted. Oh, they will jump on board. They going to come. They going to come. Trust me. You get on TV, you start doing a show. What's up, Eugene? You know, Eugene. This this video is partly for you. Eugene Russell is an awesome, awesome actor based in Atlanta, film, TV, everything, and an awesome dad and husband. Um, he says he's wrapping this pity party tomorrow. I'm glad you tuned into this, Eugene, because this was um, you were on my mind heavy um, for this, but it's something I was going through too. And my third tip for you today. So I said tip number one is be your own che- your biggest cheerleader, your biggest cheerleader first and foremost. And if people don't like it, they can unsubscribe, right? Second tip, truly appreciate the people who do show up for you because it starts to make them feel some kind of way that you're like, oh, what was me? How come the rest of y'all don't support me when the 10 people over here support you every time? So my third tip for you today is to keep showing up for yourself, to keep showing up for yourself. Like I told you all earlier, imagine a picture of your stove. Turn that flame all the way up because being small, hiding does not serve anyone. And the bigger you get in your career, the more things you do, that, the more visible you are. You're going to start booking jobs and gigs where you're going to be asked. It's going to be part of your contract to shout to the rooftops that you're in this project. I remember when Tyrese was releasing his last book. Man, that man was on every freaking radio station. He'd be like, buy my book, 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 buy my book. Here's why you should buy my book. And I remember me and my mom had actually laughed about it. She was like, honey, she's like, he is promoting the heck out of that book. And you have to do it. And even more so now because it is so noisy. Social media is full of ads. You can't scroll on Facebook. If you go on your website, if you're on Google and you search for red shoes, you get on, next time you get on Facebook, there's red shoe ads everywhere. Because, I mean, there's little bots and robots watching everything that you do. So it is noisy. But I want to just say this to you and for me is that there's a line of being humble and not, you know, throwing stuff in people's faces. But there's also another line of celebrating the hard work that you've done. I want each of you, anybody who's watching this right now or even if you're watching the replay, no matter when you tune into this. But for those of you here right now, the seven of you that are still watching. Type in the comments right now one thing, one accomplishment in your career you're proud of. I don't care how big or small it is to anyone else. It could be booked a TV show, um, worked with Tyler Perry, performed on Broadway. I want you all, no matter when you're watching this right now, type one thing in the comments, what you're proud of in your career. Because it's also very important that you celebrate those successes that you have. I'm going to start because I'm going to start this party. And this isn't braggadocious, these are facts. I got to perform at the White House. Stephanie says, getting in the room. I performed in front of George W. Bush, but I performed on Broadway with The Lion King. Tarnisha Small says, booked her first TV show, yes, right? 
I'm going to be on two network shows in November during Sweeps Week, which is huge. Tanika says, Heaven just booked a stage play. Her daughter, Heaven Hightower. Eugene says, released an album. Yes, I released two albums. I, they're both on iTunes, by the way. You can pick them up. I can go on and on, and it's not, as Les Brown would say, it's not to impress you, but to impress upon you that we deserve to salute ourselves. And we are advertising. You have to remember, and I'm gonna rap soon, but you know, I'm, I'm a little bit, bit pumped, which is good, because I have two auditions to tape after this. <laughs> remember that you are a product. I always encourage actors to take a business class at some point in life, to take, to take some kind of marketing class. Because I balance this life of an entrepreneur and an actor, it's, it, it's really helpful for me. And shout out to my coach, April Hunt, who gets on me about, Christine, I can't tell you're a superstar. You on Broadway, you need to be shouting it through the roof. You need to be, you on TV, you on Ray Donovan? Oh my God, like she, and until she says it back to me, like, I'm like, why am I so like, well, yeah, I was on Ray Donovan and then I, you know, I shot this show and then I'll be on the show and then I was on the red carpet. I was at the Emmys and I did such and such. And she's like, whoa, whoa. Do you ever catch yourself doing that? Just kind of like, oh, blah, 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 blah. it doesn't serve us anymore. It doesn't serve us. Tanika says, I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. It doesn't serve us. So with that being said, you know, my big announcement too is there's a link above to my YouTube channel. In addition to, yes, I'm doing these Actors Daily Breads pr pretty much every day, but I'm going to start doing a bit more, behind, not a bit more, a lot more behind the scenes of not just my life, but my process. And I'm working on a one woman show. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on that. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on just my daily life. So that's gonna be stuff you're not gonna find here on Facebook. So if you just wanna roll with me and get some, and really be on this journey with me, you can click the link above to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notifications because I won't I won't be posting all that on here. That's a whole separate thing that I'm doing. But let me tell you something, and this is again, I'm gonna stop even saying braggadocious, you know, and, and shameless. I just want to talk about that really quick. I don't even get why we say I want us to take the shame out of promote out of self-promotion. Take the shame. Look, we don't even have to say oh, this is a little shameless self-promotion. No, I'm promoting myself because you need to know about it. I have an album, it's on iTunes. I want you, you should buy it because it's good. My name is Christine Horn. I'm an actor, film, television, Broadway. You should hire me. You should book me for your show. You should book me as a series regular because I'm awesome. I've trained for years. I'm the bomb. I trained with Freddie Hendricks. I have been doing this for a long time. And I'm practicing this as I'm saying it to you. I want you to start practicing it too. Practicing it as well. Get used to just saying who you are. When you walk in a room, yes, I'm an actor. I'm awesome. Are you good? I'm great. You're a singer? Yes, fantastic. Can I hear you sing? Sure, here I go. Take the shame out of it. Why are we ashamed of the gifts that we were given? Why are we ashamed of the gifts that we are given? Why are we ashamed when we have studied, we have toiled, we went to college, we went to, we take acting classes, we spend money, so much money on headshots and scripts. We get rejected almost every day. You know how many, for every yes that I get, I get so many no's. So I'm not gonna be quiet about that anymore. And I'm encouraging you to not do the same. And remember this, and I'm gonna wrap. I know I said that 10 minutes ago, but I am gonna wrap. I want you to still remember there are tons of actors out here in the world. So many people who want to do what we do, who admire what we do, who don't have the guts or the courage to do what we do. They stand in awe of you. So you have the guts and the courage to go for this thing that you say you want so much. And I don't want you to hide that anymore. George Lima says, I'm sold, always have been, you're terrific. Thank you, George. Shout out, happy belated birthday, George. <laughs> uh, Stephanie says, not so much as shame, but feeling maybe perceived as better than or thinking it is good enough. You know, again, this is, these are issues that, these are our own thoughts coming up because it's, it goes back to feeling judged. We don't wanna be judged. It goes back, and if we take it deeper, we want to be loved. We want to be accepted. So it's easier for me to, to, to not really talk about the fact that I'm going to be on two network shows next month because I may offend you because you may think I'm bragging. When it's not a brag, I'm just a fact. And I'll let you know what shows those are next when I can next month. But it's a fact. 
So if you just booked a TV show, it's a fact. It's not even a, it's not even bragging. It's something we have to work on. It's, it's this mindset. We have to shift the paradigm of promotion. And if you ever start to feel like that, I need you to think about when you turn on your TV, all those commercials that come on. People, these advertising companies are paying thousands upon thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to promote a product you've already heard about. But unless they tell us Colgate is the best toothpaste ever, McDonald's hamburgers are the best hamburgers ever, <laughs> whatever it is, start looking at those commercials. You're like, dang, all these commercials. Listen to the radios, commercials, commercials, commercials. Why can't you be your own commercial? Start, you have a platform. Do you realize this is where the next level is? Do you realize you are watching me right now? You're watching me and you get to watch me live, which is even more dope. This is like my CBS. This is like my NBC. YouTube is like my, so let's say Facebook is NBC, YouTube is CBS, you know, Periscope is ABC. Like I have access to all these networks, but so do you. Twitter, I mean like I have the same access that the president of the United States has. How he can reach people, I can reach people. You can reach people. So what is stopping you? from letting the world know you exist. Casting directors need to know that you exist. They must know. I'm gonna share this story because it's not mine. I know I'm going on and on, but I'm just pumped and I wanna put this in your spirit. That in Ava, shout out to Ava DuVernay, love, love, love her. I got to work on Selma. Yes, my scene was cut out of that amazing epic film, but I'm in the credits. You can find me and I get the residual checks. <laughs> but I remember she, when the movie was coming out, I had several friends in the movie, Omar Dorsey, Charity Jordan. But I have a friend, Nigel Thatch, she played Malcolm X. And she talked about on Twitter how one day he heard about, he heard about this film, he wanted to be in it. He was not on her radar, but he was like, I look like Malcolm X. He dressed himself up like Malcolm X, took a photo, tweeted Ava DuVernay, and this ain't lies, you can Google this. He tweeted her a picture of him and he said, I'm the one. And she wrote, after the film was about to come out, she said, and indeed he was. And I love that story. What if he never did that? What if he sat at home and was like, man, I wish I could be in that movie. I look just like Malcolm X. I wish I could be in that movie, man. I wish I could be in it. And then he just waits till the movie come out and see whatever actor got it. He didn't do that. He let her know he existed. So your challenge today, and if you're just jumping on, I'm, I'm having everybody write something in the comments about what they are proud of and what you can promote. People need to know you exist. People need to know you exist. Don't worry about the people who you think that you're being braggadocious. I'm gonna keep saying that. Let them know you exist. Those are not your people. That's what I always tell people. That's, they're not my people. If you're rocking with me, you know that I love acting, I love God, I love singing, I love business, I'm on fire. And if that don't work for you, cool. There are other coaches out there. There's some awesome coaches out there. So I'm a wrap. I just want you to think about that tonight. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Again, this is episode 100. And there's many more, many more to come. And I'm going to keep being here. Please let me know the things that you want to learn. Um, I can't always, you know, as this has grown and as I get to connect with more of you, I can't always jump on, you know, things immediately. But I take note. I save them in my Evernote. And my goal is to get to them eventually. So I want to thank you for your patience. But whenever you're watching this video, know that I love you. Know that you are special. You have a gift that the world needs to see. Hit the link above if you're just joining. I have a new YouTube channel. Well, it's not new. It's been there. But I'm doing a lot of new things on YouTube. Some behind the scenes stuff. Working on my one woman show. I'm going to take you on that journey with me. So click the link above to subscribe and get notifications. And um I'm going to keep rocking with you guys. This is Actors Daily Bread. Yes, Tarnisha, thank you. You know, look, here's another tip for you. This is random, but um, consistency is key. I have been, I've had a habit. People who know me well know that I, Christine will jump from one thing to the next. And that's true. That's part of my nature. I'm multi-passionate and I get, I get shiny object syndrome, like a lot of you. So the fact that I made this to episode 100 is a huge deal for me. And it's partly because of you, because... 
I want to show up for you and I want to show up for myself. And the more I show up here, it trickles over into every aspect of my life. It trickles out into my marketing it's for my acting career, it trickles into my, my marriage. It just is a, it's a ripple effect. It's a ripple effect. So think about where in your life could you stand to be more consistent, right? Make, you know, I, I got, sometimes I feel like I'm about to explode from all the information I want to give you. So I'm going to go now. I have two auditions to take. Shout out to those smart casting directors who called me in. I love you. I appreciate you. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, have an awesome night. Take what I said to heart tonight. Yes, Stephanie, I like that. I'm just leave that on the screen. Take what I said to heart tonight. Think about where you can up level your game. If you want to up level your game with me, get some tips, some strategies from me. Join the Hollywood About Facebook group. That group is free. I do have a paid membership group that's only $20 a month to coach with me weekly, the Get Book Mastermind for Actors. Where in the world you can get coaching weekly for $20? I don't know, except where I'm doing it. So there are options to work with me out besides one-on-one, -on -one, just so you know. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message through Instant Messenger. I will respond. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome night. <sighs> Episode 100, y'all. We're going to keep going, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Good night. Bye.